Come on, say it, say it. Talk. Come on, none of the girls in my life ever want to help me out here. Look, look, look at me say. Hey everybody, they're watching Fireman 7753. Right? Is that what they're doing? They're watching? Who are they watching? <laughs> oh my god, you're impossible. Anyway, hey everybody. We got a little project. Uh, I talked about it in my video the other day. I'm actually going to do the project now, and uh, I'm doing it as a own little separate video here. But here's my uh, here's my barbecue pit that I made. I don't know if you ever saw the video of it, but there's one a uh, few few back. I don't know, like a year ago or something. But it's just a 55 gallon drum. It's got a couple little vent doors uh, down there on the bottom. I put I put mine on wheels. This was all my dad's idea. Uh, but it works great, and I put like a handle and stuff on mine. He doesn't have all this fancy stuff on his. There's a little, another little vent door over here, just a couple little hinges. And then uh, when you cut the top out, you leave a one-inch flange, uh, which actually, like if you look at a drum that hasn't been, you can kind of see where, where oh, up here, you can kind of see, it's hard to tell with this one because it's painted, but there's a little bit of a crease here, and you just cut along that crease, and then a Weber kettle grill fits perfectly on here. So it'll sit right across the top. It's just 22 inches and a Weber kettle lid fits perfectly on the top. Uh, I did have to take a, a wrench and kind of tweak out the edge just a little bit on my on my grill lid because this is just a little bit thicker. But here's what I'm going to... Oh, and I got a grate down in there too. But anyway, go watch that video. I'm not talking anymore about this pit. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is my rotisserie. You see, uh, see I got a rotisserie mounted in there. And when I put my food in, I gotta get the fire going, and I gotta do it all over the hot fire, and it gets hot as frig, and I almost burn the, burn my hands off while I'm doing it, and I cuss a lot. And my dad, again, who came up with this idea, came up with an idea for uh, the rotisserie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top out of this, and then we're gonna cut it down here and then we're going to mount the rotisserie to this and put a couple handles on on that and then we can just set it right on there so you can like over off to the side you can get all your meat and stuff on there and then pick the whole thing up and set it on and then when you're done cooking you pick it up and you take it off so you don't have to do it over the fire oh sometimes my dad's brilliant I hope I can be like him someday but uh, anyway and he's frugal too I think that's why we're doing this with the 55 gallon drums uh, he like saves everything and he doesn't ever spend any money and this is the kind of stuff he comes up with so anyway I'm gonna get it made or at least get a start on it and I'll probably cut in a few times while I'm uh, uh, working on it and show you guys what I got done and uh, I don't know we'll see how it turns out alright so we gotta uh, cut off the barrel there and this barrel had oil in it so I'm gonna go ahead and burn this thing off real good I had a fire going anyway so I just threw it in the fire I'll burn it off and then I'll just repaint the outside with some uh, heat proof paint. That's how I did my barbecue pit and it's holding up pretty well. So uh, next step will be putting the rotisserie in through. All right, so we got the, uh, just like on my old barbecue pit, we got the rotisserie added into it. I'm gonna get a couple of handles to put on both sides and then that way we can just lift it off and lift it on to put the meat on and off. So, I gotta get some retaining clips to help hold it on the top and uh, my pops has all that so I gotta go get that from him and then we'll get this baby finished up and painted up and uh, try her out hopefully in a few days. Alright so check it out guys. <clears throat> Here's what we did. I think I told you wrong the other day. I can't remember. I know I said I think I was going to check my dad's out but uh, actually it goes lip to lip and then the, where you cut that goes to the top. So I had a couple uh, brackets here, a couple U-bolts that I made some handles with on both sides. And this is the piece that my uh, my little spitz motor mounts to. I'll show you that later. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna I burn it off real good, then I'm gonna paint it with some heat proof paint. So that's why I don't have that down there. And then there's the other side of the spitz. And uh, I put little tabs on, just little some little metal brackets I had that I bent. And that uh, you know you can shake this thing around. It's not gonna go anywhere. So, that's what we got so far. And then, oh, here, check this out. The lid, the Weber lid, because it's the same uh, diameter as the barrel, just sits right on top then. 
So, see how this is all coming together? Yeah, I'm almost finished. Okay, we gave her a nice new coat of paint. That'll, most of it will probably burn off, but that's all right. But uh, we got the, the little rotisserie guy mounted back on there. It got a little, little crooked on me, but it's all right. I'm not worried about this thing being perfect, because it works. Look, so I got her plugged in. Take the lid off. And look, there's our uh, rotisserie rod, just goes right through. So, all we got to do then to put our meat on and take our meat off is we can unplug it. Oh, I got to do this with, uh, it's hard to do with only one set of hands, but uh, and then because I got the handles on the side. So when the meat's done, we just lift this off, and we can uh, set it off to the side off of our fire, and then pull everything apart, not over the fire. So there you go. Pretty, pretty uh, cheap and easy to do with just some stuff I found around the house. And uh, again, it was my dad's idea, so uh, now I'm going to go uh, clean my dirty hands up, and i got a pork roast to do, so I'm going to get a fire going, or try to get a fire going because it's raining, and we'll see how it does. Alright, there we go. First, uh, first pork roast on the rotisserie and the new, uh, new improved rotisserie, so... We'll check back, uh, we'll get the lid on here and, and check back when it's done. It's going to be good. Alright, we should be done. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. So we'll, uh, we'll give the camera... Daddy! We'll give the camera to Ben. See, hopefully he can be a good cameraman. So, you gotta record me. Try to hold it still. So, I'll turn it off and unplug it. The cool part about this is I don't have to fight over the fire. Things aren't too bad. We can just lift it up. Scoot back, buddy. And we can set it right over the plate there. And I'm gonna put my. Move the camera a little slower, bud, so people can watch. Oh, I need to <laughs> flip it over here so I can get to the, the doodads. Dad, how are you doing that? There we go. So now we don't have to fight it over the fire anymore. We can just take these loose. All done. Now we can go eat, right?